In Granite Bay, California, house prices went down $564,000 in one month. Hey guys, Brandon here with your Granite Bay, California market update. So if you are curious on what homes are for sale in Granite Bay, I have some other videos for you to check out. But if you're thinking of selling your house in this season, this is a great video for you to watch to see what the actual stats are. So let's talk about what's happening in the Granite Bay market right now. Currently, there are 37 homes actively for sale. There are 24 that have sold this past month and 17 currently pending. Now, note on the graph that we have the lowest number of homes sold this past month since January of 2022. Price per square foot has jumped up to $429. Now that's actually a $14 jump from last month, but that's pretty common in Granite Bay because you are going to see lots of different types of homes, many, many custom homes in Granite Bay. A good sign if you're a home seller is looking at the original list price versus the original sold price. So how much, when houses are listed, how much are they selling for close to what they were originally listed for? We're up three months in a row uh, at 98%, which that's actually a good thing uh, for you if you're considering selling your house. The days on market is currently at 39 days, up two days from last month. Now, when you look at the average sales price and average sold price, these are numbers or stats that I don't, they don't carry a lot of weight. So look at this graph with me. When you look at the graph and you see that the house, the average sales price went from you know 2.1 uh, down to like 1.6, you see that $564,000 gap. But because there are so many different custom homes and multi-million dollar homes, you are gonna see that fluctuation quite often depending on the time of the year. You also see the average sold price went up $317,000. So that's just something to watch the overall market to see how it is. But Granite Bay is one of the most solid and consistent markets you can get in Placer County. So months of inventory up slightly from last month, but we've actually been two months or under since January, actually since February. Uh, but when you look at the numbers and you see, uh, we have had a very, very limited inventory in Granite Bay for quite some time. We had one month that was five, but other than that, we've been in an extreme seller's market, which is very, very good uh, for you if you're a home seller. Overall, the Granite Bay market is very, very solid. Now, every subdivision, every area is a little bit different. So if you are thinking about selling or have questions about your home specifically, we'd love to answer them for you and uh, what the stats are in your actual neighborhood. So feel free to shoot me a call or a text and we'd be happy to help. Hey, if you're curious on what's going on in the other markets near you, Check out my other market updates, Folsom and Roseville.